Rosa is a seven-year-old Maltese Shih Tzu. Owner just wants a, uh, about half off the length. Um, I've looked over bruiser, no mats that what I can see, so that should be fine. Um, so we're going to do a full groom on bruiser today. Say hello. Isn't he gorgeous? A nice full groom on bruiser. So basically I've been grooming for about uh, two years now. I will show you um, step by step how I groom a dog. Um, owner would like the ears trimmed a little bit but left long, a bit of a teddy bear kind of face. She wanted it nice and short in between the eyes. Um, and also Bruiser has a beautiful tail. But we're just going to give that a trim as well because hanging on the floor it can get lots of burrs and things like that. So we are going to start. Put Bruiser on here. With my grooms as well, um, I have a quick turnaround of grooms. Um, I like to do them within an hour so that they're not here for too long. I've worked in many salons where they keep them for half the day and I don't, I don't think that's fair on the dog. We try and make it quick for you, hey? And hopefully be a returning customer here. So I'm gonna start with the 10 and we're gonna do the hygiene areas for Bruiser. Good boy. So just under the legs. Under the front arms, because that's where they get most knotty. Turn you around. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a, I think a five because she wants it shorter, but not too short. Um, so a five will be a really nice um, summer coat for him. And we're going to start at the, the neck here and bring it all the way down to the tail and just work downwards. Good boy. <clears throat> Making sure you follow the, the hairline. Good boy. You're a very good boy. on the other side. So this is a, a good length for Bruiser. It's actually taking off about half the length. It's the owner suggested or wanted. And as I said, the dog is not matted. So yeah, in really good condition. So we can do a lot more with the dog when they're in good, good condition. Again, from the neckline down, bringing it all the way down. Good 
shut up, Matt. You're doing well. Good boy. Down the leg. And go in reverse under the leg. That's fine. He's not liking the legs being touched at all. I wouldn't need a sleep heart, so okay. So we're going to do just behind the ears here. Good boy. Bring it all the way down under the chin. Good boy, Teresa. He's a good boy. So we also like to lift the ear up and get all that hair underneath here. Now doing the belly, I like to lift the dog up, if they let me. Good boy. And just run the flippers straight down. Good Okay, so, so far, Bruiser is not showing any signs of aggression. A um, little bit nervous, which is to be expected. Um, so this is what we're calling a rough cut. We do, we do that first on the dog before we put them in the bath. So this hair can go in the bin. Really important to keep your salon nice and tidy. Um, as I have about eight to 10 dogs coming in a day, um, I don't have time to do a big clean after and I just like to clean as I go. We're going to do Bruiser's nails. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, uh, two different types of nails. You've got your black ones and then you've got the ones where you can actually see. Um, I'll do a video specifically on nails another time. But as you can see, that's a, a black nail there and I've, I've trimmed that. You can't go too short on the black ones in case for bleeding. Okay, so Bruce's nails have been done. Now what I'm going to do is get all the hair from underneath his pads. This is um, where a lot of burrs and grass seeds can stick. So uh, as part of my grooms, um, a lot of groomers charge extra to do things like this, I don't. Um, so all of Bruiser's pads will be cleaned as well. Extra hair underneath there. Uh, we've got quite a bit of I know mate, quite a bit of junk in there. So that's all done. What I like to do with the tail is just twist it round and round and round. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the length. So that's that. And then we hold the tail up like that. See how, how long that is? All right, so we are going to just hold it up. Stay, bruiser and I'm just going to cut following the tail line. As I said, this is a rough cut the first time, but that looks a bit neater for him already and just trim those ends. All right, now I'm gonna look in his ears. So what I use here is the Professional Groomer Ear Powder that one there. I put that in, in their ears to get all the excess hair out. This stops infection. Um, Bruiser's ears look, look pretty good. There's a little bit of yellow in here. See all that hair that comes out of the ears? Oh boy, you're letting me do that, aren't you? 
right, I'll let you have. <clears throat> they got long ears, haven't you? Oh. You can see all that little bit yellow. So all that needs to come out, guys. Doesn't hurt the dog at all because you've got the powder. I mean, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. All right, now we're just going to trim up around the button. Around the feet area. Good boy. Get all that excess hair off around there. <clears throat> there is absolutely no point in bathing a dog first because all that extra hair you have to dry. Um, it just doesn't make sense. So he's been now pre-cut. We're just gonna do his face a little bit. So this is where I will use my extension combs. I usually do a three, a number three on the on the face area, and what I do is hold the, uh, the head down and do it in reverse. Getting all that hair just above the ears off. Bruiser now is all pre-cut. Um, still looks like shaggy and things like that but after the bath and a blow dry then we're going to do the final cut and final groom this is my first youtube video um basically i started my business here about a year ago um, i now have 600 followers on my business page i treat the dogs with respect treat them like my own um, but i will upload some more videos about how i started to become a dog groomer um, and why I wanted to become a dog groomer and I'll tell you a little bit more about my life and things like that um, in more videos to come but this video is basically a multi Shih Tzu first time visiting here um, showing you how I clip the dog um, so yeah we're gonna take a break we're gonna have a bath and we will be back. Okay, so bruiser has now been dried, done really well with the dryer. Um, now we're gonna do the final clip on him.
So here is Mr. Bruiser all done. All done. He doesn't like showing his face, do you? No, you don't. So everything is done on Bruiser. I've just put a little bit of cologne on him to end. Now, in Australia here, we're having really devastating bushfires at the moment. Um, so I brought some little Australia Day bow ties. They're really cool. A lady makes them for me. They've got elastic, um, so that can just slip over their, their collar like that. I just think it's nice to send the dogs out with a little something. Now I've done that the wrong way, haven't I, Bruiser? Now that's gonna go up there like that. Put that in there. Now can you show everyone your beautiful Australia Day bow? Look, look. Is that the right way? Yeah, so this is Bruiser. You've done really well, mate. Good job. Now he's just going to wait for his mummy. Cheers, his mummy.